Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to The Last Oasis, where I'm going to show you today where to find fragments in the game to make your life a little bit easier so you can gain the knowledge you're going to need a lot quicker so you can learn all the stuff in the game as soon as possible. Alright guys, so whenever you kill a Rupu, which are the monkey guys right over here, right? Whenever you kill them, you're going to get, you're probably going to get a shard or two. I mean, a fragment or two. I want to call them shards, they're not shards, they're fragments. You're going to find, you're going to, you're, so you're going to want to go ahead and these little guys right here are probably the easiest of all of them. Usually whenever you loot anything in a Rupu village, you're going to find, you're going to find them. I'm going to kill this guy. All right, they go down really easy. So when you loot, loot them, you're going to find you know, fragments within them, right? I'm not going to grab them because my inventory is full and this is just for, uh, just for tutorial purposes. So. Anytime you, you you break open a you know you break open a container you break or you kill a rupu chances of you getting a, a fragment are pretty high. Uh, they're not going to be that many. But where you're going to find most of your fragments, guys, are going to be out here in the desert in the ruins. So anything that sticks up out of the desert, you're going to want to you're going to want to go and find. You're, so let me go ahead and let's go ahead and see if we can find a couple of uh, places here. Pretty much anything that's sticking up out of the sand that is not a that is not a rupu hut, a tree a bush or a rock is going to be a ruin of some sort so you're going to want to go ahead and get over there and you're going to want to you're going to want to loot those as fast as possible now there's a lot of people going to be out here be careful um your sails can be seen from a mile away and so you got to be really super careful with that all right we're coming up on this one right here this one has two different types of loot boxes this one right here, the big one, you're not going to be able to, you can't use your hatchet on it. You can't, you can't destroy it. You actually have to have a, something that's either a dinghy size or larger that has a harpoon on, or has a ballista on it. You need to harpoon it, drag it, get it to bounce, okay? If you got some other, if you can, if you can run it, hit it against something, get it to bounce, it'll bust open, but you're going to need to drag these big ones. The, now you're going to also have bags, and these bags you can just, you know, hit F, and that, well, I got two fragments. My inventory is full, and I got fiber shirt and... So I'm gonna drop some stuff I don't need. Oh, I had fragments on me, so there you go. I got some fragments off of that. All right, here we have another one. I think it's the same type of ruin. Yeah, this is the exact same type of ruin. So there's another bag right there. I got an improvised bottle and I got a fragment. There's that large box. You, you're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to break into it unless you have a ballista. Now these are the really big ones right here. These are gonna have um, three different lootables on them. So at all at all times, you're gonna have as you go up the stairs, you're gonna have a box that you're gonna to need to break into. You're going to get a bag, and then there's also another bag up top, right there. You're going to have to grapple up to it. So we go ahead and just take this, and we're going to just bust into it. I have a better axe than you start with, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to break into it. And I got one fragment, three wood shafts. This gave me uh, another fragment and uh, fiber wrap arm wraps. And then I'm going to go ahead, and I like to get as close with my, with my icon as I can. And then I just go ahead and then we just hit E and zip up. And then I just hit F to loot it. If it looks like you're attached to it, don't worry about it. You're not going to fall. You're attached to midair here. And then Q to drop back down. If I can drop back down without it being super slow, there we go. You also have a, uh, a, a ruin like this that, with little bags. They've got a big box here too, but there's a bag right here. Super easy to grab, super quick to get on and off your boat. And then we have the smallest one of all is right here. This is a, this little guy right here. They didn't have anything that you can actually see, but you can go ahead and it's a skeleton right there. You can actually loot them, and they'll give you a, a couple fragments as well. Now there's something that looks similar to this, and I haven't I don't, I don't see one right right now, but it'll look like this. But it'll have a it'll have a barrel that you can go ahead and break open. And you should get some uh, some some fragments out of that. Pretty much, like I said, anything that is not a cactus, a, a tree, a rock, or a bush, if it's sticking out of the ground, um, go and see if you can loot it. Because because chances are you're going to be able to uh, to get fragments from it and maybe some some decent loot. That, well, I mean, beginner loot that you might need, like armor, like um, like like uh, water a water bottle, like maybe the uh, the wood shafts you need to make some tools. You know that sort of thing. I actually I even found a uh, a desert mule potion in one of the one of these uh, these drops. So so yeah. But you know be careful because these sails right here can be seen from a mile away, literally from the other side of the map. So people will know when you're out in the desert. All right, guys. Well, as I was saying, your um, your 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 level, which is what you you gain your your health, your stamina, your mobility, and damage with, uh, those points have nothing to do 
with the points that you're getting under your tech tree. You're, you're, it's all about the fragments with the tech tree. So um, gathering your fragments early on is as, is as important as it gets. You need to gather as many fragments as possible, but also because of the chance of you getting raided and looted um, and getting killed, you want to use those fragments as fast as possible as well. So either gather those fragments and put them in your walker, put them in your walker, in your storage, because you're, you're, the body of your walker is almost impossible for people to destroy, right? So if it's in here, it's the safest it's ever going to be. They can break into it eventually, but it's really super difficult. And the more upgrades you've got, the you know for like um, for like armor, the better. Okay, so you're going to want to have your armor up as high as possible. Put it in your storage until you're ready to use them, but use them as soon as you can because you've got raiders. This is a PvP game. They're going to want to take it from you. They're looking for it too. So, yeah, it's better inside your head or inside your walker than it is in somebody else's pocket. So, anyway, guys, I hope that this helped you out. I hope you learned something. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you on in Last Oasis. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.